once dubbed women a complete mystery. And in the years before his death, Professor Stephen Hawking's troubled love life was well documented. The renowned British physicist went through two marriage breakdowns the first with his university sweetheart, Jane Hawking, with whom he had three kids. The second was with his nurse, Elaine Mason, from whom he split in 2006 after what he described as a passionate and tempestuous 11-year marriage. Prof Hawking, widely regarded as one of the most intelligent people the world has ever known, passed away peacefully at his home in the early hours of today. As a 22-year-old, he had been diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, a rare form of motor neuron disease, and given just a few years to live. But defying medics' expectations, he lived to 76, marrying twice and having children Lucy, Robert, and Tim before his death at his Cambridge property. By the time of his diagnosis five decades ago, Prof Hawking had already met his future wife Jane Wilde, a languages student who pulled him out of a deep depression. The young couple fell for each other after meeting at a party in 1962. They married in 1965 and went on to have Robert, followed by Lucy and Tim. Although Prof Hawking's disease progressed rapidly, it eventually slowed as he devoted himself to his studies and work, investigating the basic laws which govern the universe, without knowing how much time he had left to live. But while his work life was flourishing, the celebrated physicist's marriage was under immense strain as his isolated wife struggled to cope with the demands of a young family and a husband in a wheelchair. In 2015, Jane told The Telegraph that she was driven to the brink of suicide several times while caring for her spouse and their children. In Prof Hawking's memoir, My Brief History, published in 2013, the physicist wrote that his wife feared he would die soon, and, when that happened, she wanted someone who would support her and marry her. In 1977, Jane met musician Jonathan Hellier Jones after joining a local church choir. He moved into the family's Cambridge flat with Prof Hawking's blessing, as he too wanted someone to care for his wife and kids after he died. But although Jane and Jonathan maintained a platonic relationship for a long time, Prof Hawking reportedly grew increasingly unhappy with it. He grew close to Elaine who was one of his nurses and whose first husband invented the computerized voice synthesizer that he used. In 1990, after 26 years of marriage, he left Jane and moved into a flat with Elaine. Five years later, he divorced his first wife and married the nurse. Two years on, in 1997, Jane and Jonathan tied the knot. In 2004, nurses caring for Prof Hawking went to police with allegations that a second wife was physically and emotionally abusing him. However, the physicist and Elaine denied the allegations, and an investigation was dropped by police. The couple eventually divorced in 2006. While he had a grasp on things that most people couldn't comprehend, Prof Hawking admitted he struggled to understand the opposite sex. In an interview with New Scientist to mark his 70th birthday on January 8, 2012, a reporter asked him what he thought most about during the day. He also told the magazine his biggest blunder was thinking that information was destroyed in black holes. 
This was my biggest blunder, or at least my biggest blunder in science, he said. And he was asked what he would study if he were a young physicist just starting out, to which he replied, I would have a new idea that would open up a new field. Following his ALS diagnosis, Prof Hawking went on to become one of the world's most renowned physicists, publishing three best-selling books, including the well-known A Brief History of Time. Despite becoming confined to a wheelchair and dependent on a computerized voice system for communication, he continued to travel the world giving lectures and writing scientific papers. His death was announced today in a statement by his children. They said, We are deeply saddened that our beloved father passed away today. He was a great scientist and an extraordinary man whose work and legacy will live on for many years. His courage and persistence with his brilliance and humor inspired people across the world. He once said, it would not be much of a universe if it wasn't home to the people you love. We will miss him forever. The University of Cambridge said Prof Hawking was an inspiration to millions and his work will leave an indelible legacy. Prof Hawking arrived at the University of Cambridge in 1962 as a PhD student. He rose through the ranks to become the Lucasian Professor of Mathematics, a position once held by Sir Isaac Newton in 1979. NASA remembered him as a renowned physicist and ambassador of science. Meanwhile, inventor of the World Wide Web, Sir Tim Berners Lee, tweeted, We have lost a colossal mind and a wonderful spirit. British astronaut Tim Peake said, Prof Hawking inspired generations to look beyond our own blue planet and expand our understanding of the universe. Prof Hawking, a vocal champion of the NHS, was born in 1942 in Oxford. His rise to fame and relationship with his first wife Jane was dramatized in a 2014 film, The Theory of Everything, in which Eddie Redmayne put in an Oscar-winning performance as the physicist battling with a devastating illness.